Why? Why am I doing this? That's a question that many of us struggle with from time to time in our lives. This is a question recently that I've been struggling with as I've tried to decide what direction to take my life. Perhaps you are frustrated or wondering why. Why am I doing this? It's a good question to ask. My own life is riddled with numerous missteps and mistakes. When I was 16 or 17 years old, I was playing high school basketball and I fell for a girl that lived in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I dropped everything and instead chose to pursue her. My coaches were disappointed in my decisions and begged with me to stay with the team, but I had other ideas. I ended up going into the flower business full time at 18 years old. I didn't do that because I had a strong love for the flower business. I did that because it was frankly the path of least resistance. And isn't that what many of us do? We take the path of least resistance because we're afraid. We're afraid to take risks and we're afraid to take chances. This defined my life early on. I wasn't encouraged to take risks. These were not things that we talked about in our household. The flower business was just something that we did. Good or bad, it's just what we did. My children came along and uh, fortunately for me, in 1995, God really got a hold of my life at a Promise Keepers in the Pontiac Silverdome in Detroit setting the indoor attendance record for such an event, even beating out WrestleMania. Dr. Tony Evans and Dr. Bruce Wilkerson gave talks that motivated me and inspired me and really shook my life up. Still, however, I came back afraid to take any risks, afraid to take any chances. Sure, I, I tried college for just a minute because, well, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have a college education like all of you have been told. But that lasted for six months when I realized I was working full-time, I was in college part-time, and I had two, and soon to be a third, small human dependent on me. I instead opted to, as a wise mentor of mine, a friend that I love dearly, said, I chose to make my children the disciples that I would focus on. I looked around me and saw inside the church everybody consumed with witnessing and ministry and being part of this and being part of that and Bible studies and group studies and millions and millions of things while their children were put into daycares or the nurseries or God help us all, the public school system. I instead chose to homeschool my children all the way through, looking at my children as a blessing, and it's not been a bad thing. So here I am today at 52 years old, four children fully into adulthood, finished with school, some with college, others serving in the armed forces, one, well, two, I guess, working with me diligently in the flower business. And I'm looking at myself again in the mirror and saying, what am I here for? Specifically, I relate this to you two. I'm going to admit that I've been more consumed with being blessed than I am with being a blessing. Sadly, I've been hyper-focused on subscribers and viewer counts and less consumed with, is this going to help somebody? Recently, uh, I've seen a couple of people give talks and messages that have really shaken me up and turned my life upside down. 
And as I prepare to hit the road for three months and take some serious risks, leaving the flower shop in the hands of capable, plenty capable staff, and my daughter, my stepson, my wife, and a few others, my focus is less about how many followers I want to gain on YouTube and more, maybe this will help just one person. When I was purchasing a firearm recently, one of the men at the uh, firearm store that I purchased it from here in Florida was listening to why I was getting it in my van life adventures. He said, I love what you're doing because we're all only one phone call away from life being turned upside down. And isn't that true? I have a couple of people in my life that are trying to fend off cancer. They're older and getting a lot of treatments. And in both cases, their life revolves around this cancer. I don't know if that's right or if that's wrong. It's no longer my position to judge that particular issue for them. But I do know that life can change on a dime. When my youngest son was seven years old, he uh, had an injury that turned into a blockage in his colon that turned into quite possibly colon cancer at seven years old. There's nothing more scary than the thought of losing a child before I leave this earth. Shortly thereafter, we uprooted our family didn't know what we were going to do and where we were going to go and we moved to Florida. So I suppose in a roundabout way, I did take some risks that would make many people uncomfortable. Once we got down here, um, due to some really idiotic financial decisions, I made the decision to file bankruptcy. I had to. I was left with no options. Very poor business choices from my time in Michigan and Flint and it just caught up with us and that was what we had to do. So the shame and humiliation from that wasn't quite enough. So my uh, first wife decided to leave our family, marry somebody else shortly thereafter, uh, after 23 years of marriage and raising children. So if you're hurting, if you have pain, likely I've experienced it and I can relate to it. I understand, but all we have is today. So why am I here? I'm here to bless other people. I'm here hoping that the videos that I make perhaps inspire a dad to make a decision and a conscious commitment to spend more time with their sons or their daughters. I'm here for that woman who's consumed with everything going on in the schools and churches and busies herself so much so that she just doesn't have time to effectively be a mother. I'm here hoping that through the videos that I release, someone somewhere sees a video and is moved in such a degree that they make a decision that they want to start taking risks. They want to embrace all of the blessing that we have inside of this country to see and experience. I'm here so that the one person that sees a video of my son and I and makes a comment that it brings them to tears continues to be moved and inspired, perhaps taking a different direction with their own life because of what they saw or heard in a video that I've made. And you know what I've decided? I've decided that's enough. That's enough. If I hover at 250 or 300 or 400 subscribers for the entire duration of the time that I'm making videos, if one person, if one person's life is changed, that's enough. I don't need to move masses. I don't need to move thousands. I need to encourage and inspire one. That's enough. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. I want to share life on the road with you, hoping 
that by doing so, maybe you see things that due to health concerns, family concerns, you can't go to and you can't see. I'm in a position now where many of you in your mid-20s are, or some of you that are like I am are. My children are raised. My business supports me. I can do what I didn't do in my early years because those are the times that you take the risks and make the mistakes and go broke and live on sandwiches and beans and rice. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, renting a room in a house while you pursue your dream of writing or pursue your dream of photography or pursue your dream of making videos or pursue your dream of starting that business or pursue your dream of travel. That's the time to do it. It takes guts and it takes commitment and life doesn't come easy. And trust me when I tell you, the path of least resistance sucks. My life has been blessed. I want you to understand that I am grateful for where I'm at today and I am looking so forward to moving in a new direction. And well, I hope that you'll come with me. I hope that you'll join me. Thanks for watching. There's a lot to come. I'm gonna be hitting the road in a week for approximately two and a half or three months, I think. God willing and the creek don't rise, I think uh, my dad has said. The old people axioms are great, you know? Gotta love them. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rob out.